Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about my birthday bag. My birthday is on July 20th. That's about two weeks away. So I thought it'd be fun if we talked through the top three bags that are on my list. Now they come from brands that I've talked about a couple times on this channel. So I don't think any of you are gonna be surprised when I go through my list. However, what I do think is interesting is that these brands have new creative directors and the back designs are more modern reinterpretations of more historic designs. Okay guys, let's get right into the list. Now the first brand is Bottega Veneta. I just love the understated design and the craftsmanship. I have been obsessed with Bottega Veneta ever since my last vlog where I tried on numerous styles. The bag that I am talking about is the sardine bag. This bag is totally reminiscent of the St. Laurent Mombasa bag. That bag with more of that wooden handle and the leather came with a couple different iterations with the material. But this I would say is more of a modern interpretation, but make it Bottega. Introduced in winter 2022, Matthew Blazy came out with my two favorite colorways, the bitter chocolate and the white. And then later on in the spring, they added in taupe, that lemon yellow, and black. Now the bag they had in my Chicago boutique was in this beautiful white color. They call it chalk. I thought this just looked so good and proportionate to my petite frame. They also had the mini size. I think that is super cute and I love how you can easily crossbody this bag. However, I do prefer the small size if I had to pick between the two. I also love the color between chalk and bitter chocolate. I think the bitter chocolate might be a little bit more outwinning the chalk, but I would be happy with either one. I am aware that this bag is not an everyday bag, and that's not the purpose I would buy this bag for anyways. I would use this bag for when I go out to dinner, drinks, small outings. It's also a bag that I'm gonna take more of my minimal type of essentials, because the more that you input into this bag, it's just gonna be heavier because it is a top carry by that metal handle. Now when it comes to the sardine bag, I know that some of you guys will absolutely hate this bag. It can be impractical, overpriced, and I don't know, but I, but I absolutely think it's a fantastic looking bag that I could see me using in my collection. My next brand is Celine. The Celine 16 bag represents new Celine under the new creative director, Eddie Slimane, back in 2018. According to Women's Wear Daily, Meet the Bag that is launching Eddie Slimane's Celine reboot was first noticed on Lady Gaga back in 2018. This bag was given the name 16 after the address of the brand's headquarters in Paris. I like the 1960s inspired design and how it reflects more the heritage of the house with the crop flap and more the rounded sides. The Celine 16 comes in a couple different sizes, colors, and materials. I actually tried on the Celine 16 in my local Celine store. They had the small and the mini size and they have the cutest seasonal colors. Of course, I would love to find this bag in more of a beige or a brown. They have this beautiful tan color. Of course, I have a lot of tan bags. If I can find the dark beige, I think that is the bag I would prefer over the tan, but I just think this bag is beautiful. In terms of size, I would probably lean more into the Celine 16 in the small size versus more the mini. The mini is super cute but I think this small size, I would get a little bit more use out of it. And both look really good, more proportionate to my petite 5'2 frame. My last bag is the Celine Triumph bag. I've always been a big fan of Phoebe Philo's classic box bag. Just never pulled the trigger, 
but this is more of a modern interpretation of that design. And of course you have that beautiful gold logo Eddie Slimane brought back in 2018. I just love the simple and classic design. It flaunts that iconic double C and it's inspired by that historic landmark, the Arc de Triomphe. I would love this bag in any neutral brown shade. My essay at Celine, she actually sent me this neutral. The thing is it comes in a large size. I would prefer it in more of a smaller, like the teen size, so I could easily cross body the bag. I do like that bronze shade. I recall that they had colors like Safari, Trench. Those are all within the color palette that I prefer this bag in, but I think just some of these colors are so seasonal, so it just really depends what they have at the time. But this is a very hot bag, so inventory is going to be an issue. I will say between the two Celine bags, I think the Celine 16 is increasing more slowly in popularity, but it's certainly starting to gain steam. Overall, I love all three bags. That's why they made my list but I can only pick one birthday bag. So that's where you guys come in. Please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite birthday bag and why. I know some of you have some very strong opinions between the two design houses. I expect that Melissa Adams Wade will tell me to pick the sardine bag for her love of Bottega Veneta. Anyways guys, be sure to like and subscribe and hopefully I will have a birthday reveal very soon. I'll talk to you in my next video. Take care, guys.